Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going up to Wells, Maine. You guys are going to see a mysterious fast flashing light high in the nighttime sky that I don't think was supposed to have been seen. Video footage submitted by Chris that resembles something that was spotted in Phoenix a few days ago. In fact, they look nearly identical. Also in this video, you guys are going to see a huge solar eruption come off the southeastern limb of the sun. And some are saying that this was the largest solar eruption eruption they've seen so far in Solar Cycle 25. But first over here at the homepage of the website, today's feature photo was sent in by Ed and Michelle out of Williams, Oregon of a very intense jumbo halo high in the sky above Oregon. Coming over here to the GOES X-ray flux at the Space Weather Prediction Center, right on time, yet another M-class solar flare from the very active Earth-facing side of the sun. This active region down here with two large sunspots now contains what they call beta, gamma, delta magnetic. Magnetics. So this could produce an X-class solar flare if conditions are just right and the magnetics are right. So we'll have to wait and see what happens here in the coming days. But so far, the, the M-class solar flares continue on the Earth-facing side of the sun. We'll come back and take a look at that large solar eruption here in just a moment. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera, looking at the seismographs that, that monitor the mighty supervolcano. Pretty quiet today. Not a whole lot of earthquake activity. A little bit over here on the, the eastern side of the caldera, but all in all, pretty quiet at the supervolcano. Coming over here to hailreports.com, the map has looked like this now for two days in a row as these persistent reoccurring evening thunderstorms are developing from Mexico all the way up to Canada and everywhere in between these large supercell thunderstorms that are producing tornadoes, large hail, high winds, and heavy rain. We're watching the radar today to see if the same situation situation occurs today like it has now for the last two days in a row. And speaking of reoccurring situations, I have more video footage from Canada all the way down to Miami, Florida. I have three video clips of birds during the overnight hours. First videos by Tina out of Miami, Florida. It's after 1 a.m. I came down to walk my dog. Listen. Now we're going up to Saskatchewan, Canada, three AM. almost 1 a.m. in East Rutherford, New Jersey. What's up with the birds chirping? Do they know something? All of this video footage is from the month of May, and the birds continue to make a ruckus during the overnight hours. I want to share with you guys now this large solar eruption that occurred yesterday. It's over here at spaceweather.com, and some astronomers are saying this is the most spectacular eruption they've seen so far in Solar Cycle 25. And here's a view of it that I added to, to Scott's video from this morning of the Earth-facing side of the, the sun with the active regions and sunspots. They are still there. And I inserted that eruption right there where it occurred. The eruption occurred about 12 hours before he took this video of the Earth-facing side of the sun. I want to show you guys the entire eruption from over here at the SDO. Watch down here in the lower left-hand corner. That would be the southeastern quadrant. And here I zoom in and put it in slow motion. And that was one enormous eruption. They're calling that a, a filament eruption. And it lasted about an hour as it came off the, the southeastern limb of the sun. Here it is again. I paused it right there just to show how big that that plume of plasma was that came off of once again the southeastern limb of the sun I want to take you guys now up to wells maine but before we go to maine i want to start out in phoenix arizona there was some video footage taken a while back by c holloway of this object right here near the phoenix sky harbor airport and this thing just looked out of place it wasn't an airplane it remained stationary in the daytime sky but what was unique about this thing was the those bright flashes right there. 
and it appears to have dual lights on it. Almost looks like a, a triangle or something just sitting in the daytime sky. Now we're going to go to Wells, Maine, 2,300 miles away. That sound you hear is the motor of Chris's car who was driving down the road when he noticed these flashing lights up in the nighttime sky, and he started recording as this light that he noticed that you'll see right there appears, disappears, and when it reappears, it looks like it may have moved just a little bit, but it's not moving through the sky like an airplane would. It just kind of goes out and then comes back on, maybe in a slightly different place. It's really bizarre. What I'm going to do is fast forward the original video. There you saw it again. What it does, it blinks several more times in this two and a half minute video, but it's so high up in the sky, it's difficult to see. Pay attention to the center of the screen right here. You're going to see these rapid flashes of light, and I mean fast. I don't know how Chris saw this driving down the road. You see that? Okay, the first blink, and I mean it was just a blink, was right here, and then the second one was down here. So it moved just a little bit and then stopped. The video is like two minutes and 30 seconds long, so what I'm going to do is fast forward it to the really good part. I'm going to take you guys right up on this thing, whatever it may have been, and it does have similarities to what was spotted in Phoenix. Check this out. Now I'm zoomed in about as heavy as I can go. See that? See how it looks like a dual light configuration in the, in the sky, but it's blinking very, very fast. I don't think this was meant to be seen. Right there it is again. I mean, it's even hard to stop on it. And what I'm trying to do right now is stop on one of the flashes right there. And it's difficult to do because it's going so fast. There it is again. There it is again. There we go. I stopped it right there. See how it looks similar to the object in Phoenix? Looks like two large lights that are attached to something else, creating one object in the sky, whatever it may be. But the flash was just incredibly bright. That's what drew his attention to the nighttime sky was that bright, rapid flash. And it reminded me of what was spotted in Phoenix. So here it is, once again, up close. It does this a few more times. I don't know how many times exactly, but you can see how it's kind of drifting around in different places. And then again, that could be his camera moving slightly. He did a great job recording this thing. And then I zoomed in to get a close look at it, whatever it may be. And it doesn't necessarily look like anything specific. It looks like two lights attached to something in the nighttime sky that are incredibly bright. And again, I don't think this thing was, was meant to be seen. It was so high up in the sky. But, but Chris noticed it as he was driving down the highway in Wells, Maine. Great job, Chris. I appreciate the video. If you guys have any photos or videos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. If you guys have any videos you'd like to share that are too large to attach to the email, come over here to the homepage of the website. Look for this red tab that says, have a large video. Click on that red banner, drag and drop your video into the red tab. It's a drop box. Please include your first name, date, and location in the title of the video, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.